Not even my mother knew what was stuffed into the chests of drawers and closets, what lurked in the unused bedrooms, what dead motive held the shaky turrets of debris that swamped the hallway back from crushing us. But I had found certain books. I hid them in places where from time to time I could be alone. The death of the sense. Sixteen positions for men only. <laughs> By Professor Edgardus Oliveritis. <laughs> London, 1886. <laughs> Complete with engraved illustration. <laughs> The basic writings of Sigmund Ford. <laughs> Arthur Rameau, a season in hell. sweep of the light's ignition could not catch them. Sometimes, in the night, the bed would come loose from its moorings and float off in a dark current. I would lie jolted awake for the odor of my blood drove mosquitoes to swarm against the window screen. Drawing aside the sheets, I would raise my legs into the air and admire their hairless, waxen pallor. I thought of my own sex as a betrayal to my mother. But sometimes in the night, my hands would unearth my sex, gazing at it as though it were the sex of another. I longed for it. I thought of it, perhaps, as some chaste, imaginary brother. I would imagine him lying dead in the field, murdered by his playmates. I called to him. I said, Who are you? Where have you been? Sweet boy, dead in the grass. The afternoon's all cruelty. Look with your dead eyes. There, far away, over the swell of the hill, the green common falls like a wave up to the distant gate, and the houses look no bigger than flower pots. In one of them, your mother has not yet begun to worry at your lateness, though as always, when you are not there, she wakes. She may be alive, 
to recognize you now, as I did, stripped of another childhood, but formulated to the same beauty in her son, blighted. He, his mother, was a poor housekeeper. Sometimes she would climb onto the roof and claw the air and curse the sky in her rage. But whom among the living or the dead she was cursing, he could never figure out. Sometimes she did the dishes. <laughs> In an upstairs bedroom, my sister brushes dirt from the cheeks of her exhumed dolls. She grows heavy from the ragged smell of earth she wears as a perfume. Her charm bracelets are obscure debris garnered from the hole she digs madly all over the ground. Little graves just right for a jack in the box. God forbid that he should pop up. <laughs> he and his sister did not play hide and seek. They played vampire and victim. <laughs> Other children were afraid to visit them. It was said that at the bottom of their backyard, a wound lay in the air. Sometimes, he would go toward that wound, alone. Oh, late November sky, as gray and long as my desire to walk on you, where you stretch beyond destination, but painfully visible to my eye. Do not kill me, but kill me many times. My life is torn away, but never stop killing me, never stop. When my senses flesh is stripped to the root. I will be a hollow bone begging for more.